I'm here to talk about the experience of drones uh, in uh, Tanzania, particularly the Lake Victoria region. Uh, the presentation uh, looks at, uh, explains the lake area, uh, the problem, the triad solution, and uh, the challenges we face and the outcomes that we got in terms of next steps. It's important for us to know where we are. I think by now we all know where we are. Ah, there you go. We, we are over here. And uh, in relation to the rest of Africa, we are right over here. I think that is straightforward. Uh, the problem is, tends to be more geographic, in a way. Uh, and uh, when we first came here from the Commission to work with the regional authorities, uh, we were trying to see how we could bring innovation, entrepreneurship, and then come up with uh, solutions for the challenges that were in the region, particularly in Mwanza. And along the way, we came across MSD, and, uh, and MSD is a government entity which is mandated to supply medicines to all health facilities. Uh, the challenge then was how do they get the medical supplies to the islands or the hilly places whereby we have difficult road infrastructure. Now, on the one side, you can see the boxes that MSD has to deal with, and on the other side, it shows you the terrain that's in this country, I mean, this part of, the, uh, of Lake Victoria. And uh, just so that you know, uh, MSD has to take things in bulk and to go to the island, which was about, uh, I would say, uh, uh, I think 45 kilometers away from here, uh, they would have to go all the way around the lake and then cross over in small boats to go to that island where it's much closer. The distance is, is almost about six kilometers, the closest point, uh, to land shore. And that normally took a whole day to two days before they arrived there. So then the issue was, is there an, a better way of traversing this? Now, while we were at the island, uh, we had a meeting with the, uh, the uh, district medical officer. And we found this map uh, that he had. And this is where we are supposed to be coming in. And then the, uh, and these are the different islands that they have that they had to service in terms of how do you reach the people who are sick and ill in the clinics. So there's a request for you know, another use case that goes beyond the island of uh, Ukerewe or Nansio in particular to reach those other areas. So, huh. so in case of emergencies, let's pray. Uh, Patients at times lose their lives, so how do you, so it's not a question of a cost factor, but it's how do you quantify it in terms of saving lives. And then sometimes the health staff needed to get this medicine, so they get demoralized if you're a nurse and you see that your patient you're working with, they lose their life, and then they are hampered, they, only because they couldn't get either blood or a vaccine or a type of medicine that the patient would have used. So, and then the other challenging aspect was how do you uh, mitigate disease outbreaks? You know, currently it's being hampered, efficient to have doing it. Yes, we are doing it. Is there a better way of doing so? So the region wanted to have a solution and uh, they talked to very, very, different players, and that's because the region, as we know, has got almost, now it's 3 point, uh, uh, almost 3.7 million, you know, by extrapolation, uh, and it's the second largest city in uh, Tanzania after Dar es Salaam. It's the business hub, it's also the second busiest city. So after having discussions with all the other entities trying to see what can be done, Wingcopter is the company that came forward and said, we want to have a proof of concept. We've got this quadcopter 
that we want to see whether it can make a difference. And so they partnered with us uh, in order to see how can we deliver uh, medical, emergency medical commodities or medicines to the Okerewe Islands and also support the island health staff. So this is a quick, I mean, we've seen it, the drones fly, and, uh, and this tells you at that time what we were looking at, a wingspan of 178 centimeters, and it has a weight of 9.6 uh, kilograms. Payload is about between four and five, depending on what needs to be done. Uh, it has a range, a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Maximum flying time is two hours. Um, so uh, it's a quadcopter. Uh, we wanted it to have what you call duplex flights in terms of transmission. In other words, it goes out with uh, an item and it comes back with an item. So that's good usage of the uh, drone itself. So having gotten this, this is an example of the uh, drone flying and deliver. You already, they already talked about it, but this is another side of the picture. How, um, and this is all on Nancio and the tracking of the drone because we had to follow regulations and know what was going on and this is what this is happening here for security measures and to know what's going on in terms of uh, trajectory of the drone. Now, this thing seems to have a delay. Okay, the challenges, uh, we had two major challenges that we had, and one of them, we had friends in the sky who always wanted to know what is this creature thing here. And here, our, our drone is, oh, you can't see it, it's right over here. Uh, these are colored black and the drone is colored white, so the background doesn't, but it's right over here. So we had all these crows flying around there. And then uh, the other issue was uh, certification of parts. Uh, as we were doing a proof of concept, uh, we found out that just like when you have uh, a Toyota, Toyota does not make the tires that you have. Uh, Toyota does not make the airbag that you have. So as you bring, you manufacture this, some of these small parts come in from other areas, or from other entities or other organizations. So when you, we would assemble, put them together, and the lesson learned was that we needed to, to do more certification on the part because in terms of failure. If there's a failure on a part that is there, what do you do? How do you handle that? So these were the challenges that we, uh, we were faced with and that we had to deal with. So the try solutions outcome, uh, what did we achieve? Okay. Uh, we managed to send uh, medicines to the island. Uh, a ferry takes six hours uh, to go from uh, four, to, four to six hours, no, five to six hours, depending on how the day looks like and the, the waves, uh, whereas we delivered the commodities within one hour. Uh, blood samples uh, were sent to the islands, and then, as I said, coming back, we had blood slides which were sent to the Bugando Referral Hospital. Now, the results to the patients now was cut down from about two, three weeks to three to five days. And then, of course, Charlie to save lives, and then we did train some people. So we were trying to get a cadre of youth in the region to see can they be pilots, can they repair drones. So we were on that trajectory to do all that. So what are the next steps now? As a region, one's a region now, uh, and uh, we are saying that it, it wants, of course, to extend the use, current use case to see how can we go to the next stage. But more importantly is we need to build other use cases uh, in terms of how can we leverage this digital uh, innovation in terms of, for example, drone posts, which we'll discuss later, the fabrication labs that our colleague from Gearbox were talking about, and we're bringing in other partners to work together with us 
and, and all others are also welcome. Because as you see now, Mwanza is a region that is setting itself up to be the next di digital innovation hub that goes to provide solutions uh, to the communities. So we need to work with all, and the region I'm sure is welcoming others to come in and play a role in this. And then we are seeing the Lake Victoria challenge as a start. Those of you who are here is a place to start with. So I hope when you network, when you talk to us, to the authorities, see how you can build a case for that to happen. And we, uh, as a region, as once a region, we want it to be citizen-centric, have impact, solve the challenges that are in the community. Uh, we believe that where there is a challenge, it brings about an opportunity. So with that, I'd like to thank you. And uh, we incorporate the team. There's Ansgar here. You already know him. Where's the rest? Yeah. He Okay, fine. Thank you. So he has a team of other people, but he is the leader that we had there. Thank you very much for this.